Right here is where this channel started. Every video that I have filmed in here has felt like we've all been here together, chatting and having fun. It's where I have danced and ate and laughed and cried and kissed and gotten ready for night outs and everything. I'm very grateful for having had the space to begin this journey together with all of you, but the time has come for me to move on. Like, literally, I am moving out in a few weeks. I'm becoming a full-blown, responsible, independent adult. I guess it's time to grow up for real for real now. And I want to take you all with me into this next chapter in my life. I'm pretty used to packing up my life. When I was in the US, I lived in three different places. I also moved away for university here in Sweden, so I would say I've got a pretty good hang on the whole packing up your life and going somewhere new. But regardless of where I've been, this has always been my home home, the place that I've come back to. And now, for the first time in my life, my home home is going to be somewhere else. And that is one of the most exciting things I've ever gone through. It's also a bit scary and emotional and honestly, pretty much every emotion that you can think of. I think a lot of people experience these feelings whenever going through any transitional period in their life. Whether that is moving or starting or losing a job, getting in or out of a relationship, going away or coming home from university, and so on. Transitions can be really overwhelming. And you know when you just want something to happen so bad, and then when you finally get to smell it and taste it, it's a strange feeling because it might either be everything that you had built up in your head or it might be none of it or it might just be different not necessarily good or bad just different and so that feeling of pressure the feeling we experience whenever we get closer to this thing that we have wanted for so long whatever that thing is in your life we become so afraid to mess it up we want it to be perfect so much that we sometimes get so lost in the pursuit of perfection that we completely forget to be present. We forget to enjoy the ride. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm just hopping around interior stores, um, trying to find Oh, well, the main thing I'm trying to find is a couch and a living room table. And I do want to shop as much secondhand as possible. But I think it's kind of difficult finding secondhand furniture that are going to fit with the aesthetic that I have in mind. Uh, but I do still have hope that I'll find a, at least a table that is going to be secondhand, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure we all struggle with this from time to time. I for one know how good I am at constantly thinking about the next thing and the next thing, and it isn't exactly a very useful skill to have. And what's worse, when that next thing arrives, whatever it is, we don't know how to enjoy it, because now there is a new next thing. When you get so caught up in what lies ahead, you sort of forget that life is right now, too. We forget to be here for it, so firstly, we miss it. As in, miss out on it. And then, we end up missing it. As in, what has passed. It's the whole, only miss the sun when it starts to snow, kind of thing. I know this video was a bit all over the place, but that is because 
my mind is kind of all over the place. But anyway, so I'll be moving in less than a month, which means that you will still see a few more videos filmed in this room. Um, also, would you like moving vlogs? Please let me know. And speaking of videos, I feel like I will finally be able to fully express myself. You know, as you've probably figured out, I do live with other people, which has held me back in some ways, simply because I need to respect the privacy and space of those around me. You know, I can't just go to the kitchen and ask people to get out and to be quiet so that I can film however and whenever I want to. Also, make no mistake, that is not an excuse not to start a YouTube channel or anything else that you have been putting off. I mean, I did it and so many other people start in their small rooms, but it's definitely going to be interesting to see where things will go once I have that freedom. And I may also have something fun waiting for you all. It's something that I have been working on for a while now, and I'm not going to get too ahead of myself just yet, but I think you will love it because I love it. All right, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you so much. Let's chat in the comment section. As always, perhaps you are going through a transition of your own or perhaps you have in the past and you learned something that you would like to share. And also, you guys are literally helping me decorate my home, my little sanctuary over on Instagram because I keep asking you guys to vote on different fabrics and colors and stuff like that. So if you want to take part of that, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. All right, as always, I will see you in the comment section.